All right, everybody, time for another bike path conditions report. This time, of course, we are going to be looking at the condition of the bikeways after this really terrible storm we had last week. I was able to get out for a several mile loop from my house in North Portland near I-5 and Rosa Parks Way and check out a few different types of different bikeways to give you a sense of what we're gonna be dealing with for the next few weeks. Right off the bat, you can see North Rosa Parks Way is in particularly bad shape. Um, and I also want to have sort of a disclaimer on this video that I do realize that this snow and ice is pretty much all melted by the time you're gonna watch this. Uh, but a lot of these issues will remain, especially the gravel and the puddles. And of course, you never know if we're gonna get more snow or not. What I think is important to take away from this video is what happens whenever we do get even a little bit of snow. Uh, the bike lanes, because in large part, because the city ends up also adding uh, gravel, the bike lanes really turn into a terrible place to be, which means folks on a bike either have to decide to just uh, rough it through the slippery uh, mounds of debris in the bike lane, or they have to contest in the shared lane environment with other road users, which can be pretty bad. Of course, these winter storms also create worse potholes and other other hazards so it's just a really difficult time to be on a bike that's why maintenance of these bikeways is so crucial and while it's really feels bad to be encouraging Peabot to do even more since they're already working so hard with all their crews somebody has to say something because I mean what are we supposed to expect as bicycle users what is a reasonable uh, condition and how much time should we be willing to expect to give the city to basically make passageways that we can use safely safely if we choose to bike. I'm trying to show you several different types of bikeway facilities from multi-use paths to unprotected, just standard curbside bike lanes uh, to protected bike lanes. Of course, this is uh, Hazelnut Grove uh, that's coming up onto the Greeley multi-use path. It was actually in really good shape. And I, anyway, coming up to this traffic signal, it turned right on time. I love it. I didn't even have to stop. So that was really fantastic. But going back to the condition of protected bike lanes, which are going to require a specific type of vehicle, which I don't think the city has very many of, maybe one or two uh, sweepers that can fit in these kind of bike lanes. These are the ones that are going to probably stay in worse shape longer. This one near Adidas isn't in too bad a shape, but I uh, thought I'd give you a little look at that. Over onto the North Willamette Bluff here. I was actually amazed at how much gravel was on this section of Willamette. And then we get back onto Rosa Parks Way. Like I said before, it is in the worst shape of all the facilities I saw. Even without snow and ice, it's just got tons of debris from trash, uh, branches and twigs. Uh, lots of gravel, leaves. You see people put their trash cans in it. So. Portland's really got to do a better job dealing with these protected bike lane spaces. It really just makes them unprotected or it makes them just as bad if they're not passable and safe and clear. So not too excited about what I saw in Rosa Parks Way and, and I hope we can get this stuff cleaned up. But again, I do understand that Peabot is probably at their limit for capacity. So unless something changes there, I don't know how fast we can expect to see attention to these bike lanes. On a more positive note, it sounds like I think this year is going to be the year where individual Portlanders step up. I'm certainly going to be probably trying to promote some sort of mass cleanup, like a big collective effort to get folks out into bike lanes, maybe like an adopt, adopt your local bike lane kind of vibe. So stay tuned to Bike Portland for something like that. Uh, and I also know that there are activists like from Bike Loud PDX and probably others before we're done that will uh, step up to also do cleanup events. Everybody wants these bike lanes to be clean. And I think we're past the point of just complaining about it to Peabot and hoping that something gets done. So coming to the end of my loop here, this is in front of the Arbor Lodge New Seasons. Um, trying to get home through this without falling over. Luckily, I never did fall over, even though I went through quite a bit of ice and snow. Uh, I was really going slow and staying cautious the whole time. Keep sending me your reports and photos and videos from wherever you are. I'd like to keep everybody posted on conditions and see what we can do about getting some attention on these bike lanes as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.